Tonight, we are following the stormy weather that has certainly soaked a lot of western New York and caused an awful lot of soggy events. Well, right now, two on your side, Jackie Roberts joins us live from downtown Buffalo. She spent the night traveling around western New York in our storm tracker. It was a busy one, Jackie. Yes, Scott and Mary Ellis, things do appear to have calmed down at this point. Earlier today, around 5,000 Western New Yorkers were without power. By now, about 4,000 of them have been restored. And like you said, we've been out in the storm tracker throughout the evening, keeping you updated on the conditions. We started in Larkinville, where there was heavy rainfall that passed through the first food truck Tuesday of the season. Take a look at this time lapse video that shows the storm making its way through the city of Buffalo. Some areas do appear to be harder hit than others. For example, drivers ran into flooding on Elmwood Avenue by the Regal Theater in North Buffalo. And throughout the night, several of you have sent us pictures and videos like this one. You can see here a viewer shared with us this footage of the wind and rain blowing patio furniture in Pendleton. And the impact of the storm tonight does appear to be spotty, with some areas relatively untouched, while others now are still cleaning up the mess. And if you do have damage in your area and you can safely snap a picture or video, feel free to share that with us using hashtag Beyond2. For now, I'll send it over to Heather, who has more details on this.